Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel. Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for May 23rd through 29th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I am truly grateful for each and every one of you. So let's get into your reading, see what we've got coming out. The energy is a lot calmer this week, thank goodness. Um, we do have still Mercury in retrograde, so just a little bit of a heads up there for you. It's uh, there until, I think, June 2nd, it is. So uh, watch your communication, take a, you know, um, you know, uh, think before, uh, reread things before you hit send on your messages, that kind of thing. Okay, and uh, if someone's really wanting to kind of butt heads with you a little bit, try and find a way to take the high road. All right. Um, technology may also sometimes have a few little issues here and there when we have retrograde, but retrograde can bring surprises. It can bring second chances at things, people from the past, okay, or opportunities coming back from the past. And with this being in Gemini, we've got a new moon in Gemini on the 30th of May. So you might be thinking of where you can try something different, where you can have a fresh start at something, or maybe where you can have a do-over. So we have number 33 coming out here. 33 is a master built master uh, teacher number, actually. And we have peaks of joy. So this is absolutely wonderful. So it feels as though you're going to have a little bit of a joyous week or something's going to give you a little bit of happiness in your world. Now, whether you are just discovering something, you might be letting thing, letting something go. And here you are floating like a butterfly on the breeze. Oh, and we do actually have a butterfly there. Um, so there may be just be something where you jump for joy, okay, or you're just feeling lighter and brighter in your week ahead. You've got a positive outlook on things, all right, and uh, nothing is really going to keep you down too, too much. But look up uh, the number 33. It is a master, uh, master teacher number. So you may be ascending to new heights, okay, uh, in your spiritual self, um, but you may also be creating something as well, seeing some, start, starting to see the fruits of your labor, okay, your efforts start to pay off, all right, with be, those being number threes, but look up the number 33, it'll be some more messages for you there. We also have metamorphosis coming in here. Hmm, interesting. So metamorphosis is really all about uh, something blossoming and changing, right? And, you know, this can be something within you. This can be something in your external world. But with the peaks of joy energy here, it's like it's something for the better. Okay, so maybe you're uh, experiencing some growth in the week ahead, okay? You've got some things that are, you're starting to come to fruition, right? You're starting to see some results um, in the week ahead. But the metamorphosis, you may also have been going through some sort of slow changes. Now, metamorphosis on its own, with being something transforming and changing, isn't necessarily good. It's not necessarily bad. It does represent something changing, usually for the better, because as kind of some old things shift and fall away, it brings in new doors, new opportunities, um, new information, new ways of thinking, okay, those kind of things. So there may be something that has been changing for a while, and now you're really starting to see it uh, come to light. But again, you might be looking to make some very positive change in your life. And it's probably been building up for a while. Um, metamorphosis, unlike, you know, something like the tower or something like that, um, is a bit of a slow transition, a slow change. So it could just be that you've been had something on the back burner for a while. And now you're starting to take some steps, okay? Or it can just be the slow transition. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. So, Page of Swords, Nine of Cups, Page of Coins. Wow, very nice energy there. We've got the Ace of Wands, Two of Coins, and we also have a Three of Swords there also. We've got the Sun at the bottom of your deck. Beautiful energy. The Sun brings about joy and happiness, a sense of well-being into your world. Okay, a jump for joy kind of energy. So uh, there may be something here that you might have some opportunities, some doors opening up for you. Okay, and uh, this is your time to shine. Okay, it's your time to follow your goals, your dreams. Okay, you have a sense of accomplishment, a sense of having getting things done. Okay, but that sun brings about creativity, success, and abundance all blossoming and growing in your life. It's a period of growth, it gives you the positive energy, also gives you a very positive outlook on all things. 
Okay, the sun is the happiest energy in the entire deck. Okay, probably some would say the best card in the entire deck. Um, and it shines a beautiful, vibrant light over your entire reading. So the Page of Swords, interesting. So some of you might have Sagittarius in your chart or dealing with a Sag person. They had the Page of Swords come out in exactly the same position. But the Page of Swords is uh, sometimes the uh, bringer of some news, some information, okay, may come in here for you. The Page of Swords is about communication. Perhaps you are doing, uh, thinking of improving your communication, okay, or maybe you're taking a different approach. The Page of Swords is a very curious, very innovative energy. So you might be discovering something in the week ahead, okay, but you could just have this pep in your step and you could have this sense of optimism or perhaps you're looking to make, looking to get out of your comfort zone in some way. The Page of Swords likes new things tries new things. Um, it's all about the new and improved when we get the page of swords. It's curiosity about the world around you. So this can certainly represent you uh, growing and stepping into the next phase of something, okay, and making improvements of some sort, okay, but also communication is really the key as is innovation. Okay, trying new things, trying things in a different way. All right, but I think communication, you've got some probably really good news coming in, whether it is, um, uh, whether it's something in your uh, personal life or just something for you, your intuition may certainly be quite on point, something that is transforming your life in some way. Okay, um, the Page of Swords, sometimes known uh, very much associated with the, with all of the new, okay, um, but also uh, a little bit of rebelliousness comes in there with that, quite often associated with Aquarius and Uranus energy, right? A little bit of rebellion there, a little bit of innovation, okay? A little bit of, you know what? I don't really don't care what anyone else thinks of me. I'm just going to do things my own way, okay? That kind of rebelliousness. So sometimes that can really uh, be beneficial to you, right? It's like, nope, I'm my own person and I'm just not going to let anybody, you know, lead me in any other direction I don't want to be in. But I have to say the Page of Swords, with this being known as the Lurker of the Tarot, okay, quite often when we get the Page of Swords, it can represent that there is uh, some sort of technology involved. Someone's, you know, either you have your eye on something, you're kind of doing a little bit of a um, uh, stalking online, but not in like a bad way. Um, but like kind of, you know, poking around on the internet at something. Okay. Or maybe somebody is reaching out to you. Uh, someone's curious about you possibly, right? Maybe an old friend, an old colleague. Okay. Maybe this is your, uh, you know, someone wants to maybe make amends with you or find closure with you or something, right? You could have a missed opportunity that comes back to the forefront, right? We got fresh second chances that sometimes do come in here. Okay, so you might just get a message out of the blue, um, possibly on your social media somewhere, okay, emails, anything like that, okay, but you could also have this inkling to reach out to initiate a conversation or something as well, okay, but maybe social media may play a role. Whatever it is for you, the nine of cups, I mean, hello, we have a wonderful energy of accomplishment, a sense of well-being, a sense of happiness and joy, feeling very content where you're at. The Nine of Cups is an energy of completion, okay? So I think here with the Page of Swords, if you try something new and innovative, you try something different, okay, then it's like, yes, I managed to get something done, okay? Or I knew that approach would work, or I knew trying something different would be great. Um, you might get a phone call, a conversation, something out of the blue, and this is like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy, okay? The Nine of Cups is really that wonderful sense of, I'm good, I've gotten what I'm looking for this week. I'm very happy. I'm feeling secure. Uh, I'm just feeling really positive and really uh, energetic, even possibly. I don't know why I'm getting energetic. Um, Nine of Cups isn't really energetic. It's sitting on a bench. Okay, but anyways, I'm getting a little bit of energetic um, energy coming out here. So perhaps you have to put some energy with the sun into something to get something finished and have this sense of accomplishment. So whatever it is, the Nine of Cups is a wonderful energy of being happy, being content, feeling good, 
um, with your situation. Okay. So again, it, it's a very positive energy. Okay. And I think here that you're positive that you're overcome some challenges or that you're finding what you're looking for, getting some information, or maybe again, something just kind of hits you out of the blue. Something catches you off guard by surprise, but it's something very positive. We do have the page of coins coming in here as well. Now you could be making a purchase of some sort with the page of coins. Okay. Perhaps you you know, you're like, Ooh, I want something bright and shiny. I want something new. That's going to make me happy. I'm going to treat myself to something. And here you are making a little bit of a purchase. Okay. Or, you know, or just doing something really positive for yourself. Okay. That may actually cost a little bit of money. Okay. Um, but the page of coins can certainly be, uh, some, uh, opportunities opening for you. Okay, something to do with your physical environment. Perhaps you're looking for a new job. Okay, maybe you've got a, a new way to make some money, um, you know, an investment opportunity or something, right? Maybe you're with the page of swords and the page of coins. Maybe you've got some online investments or Bitcoin or something like that. I don't, I don't know anything about that. Don't listen to me. Um, but you could have some new, uh, new investment opportunities or something that comes in. But again, the pages uh, can quite often bring in some sort of news some sort of information. So you could be discovering some information. You might be on the quest for knowledge. Perhaps by the weekend, you're cracking open a book. Um, the page of uh, coins, the page of pentacles energy, which is what that is, is very bookwormy. Okay, the quest for knowledge. And, uh, you know, so perhaps you're just in a good place. You know, you're just in a good place this week. You've probably overcome some challenges. Okay, and you're like, you know what, I'm just going to spend some time with myself. I'm going to open a book. I'm going to learn new things. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of study. Okay, um, you might also be in making some sort of investment in yourself in some way as well in your home environment, uh, you know, maybe making some home improvements there, okay, or investing in yourself in some other way, okay, perhaps your path to prosperity is involving like going back to school or something like that, or taking a couple of classes, something to expand your knowledge, okay, but I think the page of coins here is uh, certainly some something new or some improvements that are coming in for you. It can be some commitment as well. Uh, you might have an offer of commitment, okay, maybe uh, from a loved one in your world, okay, or you're making some sort of commitments, but they're all very positive for you and things that are bringing you some joy and happiness in your world. So I think if you're on the quest for a new job, okay, or to um, improve your financial situation, I think you have the opportunity to do that this week. I think there's some doors opening for you, and but I think it's because you've been percolating for a while, all right? And don't forget that metamorphosis, right? Change is in the air. So whether you're changing how you do things, okay, or whether it's something coming in here that's materializing and manifesting into your world that's really positive, okay? So certainly some doors opening for you, whatever that looks like for you. Um, we do have the Ace of Wands coming in as advice from Spirit. It's time to try something new. The Ace of Wands, bring the Aces always bring in a little bit of luck, but it's always something new or something improved, Okay, and we have all this new energy that's flooding in here for you. So I think here that if you've been feeling as though you've been stuck in a rut for a while, okay, or something has kept you in one place, um, there's been some uncertainty, some worries, some doubts, some fears. I think things are shifting for you um, in a very positive way. Okay, it might have been a waiting game for a while, or maybe sometimes with metamorphosis, right? If you think of things like, you know, a... Um, a caterpillar in a cocoon that's about to emerge as a butterfly, it takes a while for that process to happen. So there could be something here that you've been working on for a while, okay, or something that you are initiating in the week ahead, okay, setting some intentions for you're really positive that you're on the right track and you're willing to put in the work, you're willing to put in the time, okay, to make the changes that you want to make. But the Ace of Wands is that advice from Spirit that right now is the great time to manifest new things into your world. Now is the great time to put your ideas, your plans in motion. Okay, what, in, what inspires you? What are you passionate about? What are you looking to improve, change, or start new in your world? Now is that time. You've got a little bit of luck on your side. The universe has your back, okay, and you're um, you know, doing what is right for you, following your passions, your goals, your dreams, being open to new and exciting ways of doing things. It's all opening those doors for you. So now is the time for those new and improvements and to figure out what you want 
and then get her going. All right, your blessings headed your way. It's a little bit of balance. We've got the two of coins coming in here. So if you have been feeling kind of ooh, uh, like things have been a little bit chaotic or out of balance for a while, or you've had a lot on your plate, the two of coins is quite often juggling a lot of responsibilities, a lot of a lot of things on the go. Okay, um, but it's a little bit different than the ten of wands, right? Ten of wands is a lot of responsibility, but ugh, like very downtrodden and very stressful. The two of coins, you might have a lot going on in your week ahead, but you're getting things done. You're having a positive attitude. You're just, you know, you're just slaying all your dragons in the week ahead. It's like, oh my God, I've got a whole big to-do list. Let's dive right in and let's get, let's get started. Let's get going. So the ace of wands brings you in the energy as does the, the sun to get things going, right? Have a pep in your step and probably by the end of the week, you'll have, uh, you know, uh, you'll look back on your week and everything that you've gotten done and you're like, whoa, uh, I got a lot done. Okay. But you might also be like, okay, I got a lot done, but oh man, I still have more to do. Okay. You could have that hmm, double-edged sword maybe. Okay. But I think the two of coins, you're also looking at where in your life you are need a little bit more balance. Okay. Um, how can you lighten your load or how can you restore some balance here? And, uh, you know, what can you do a little bit differently? So I think you're figuring out some solutions, um, in the week ahead, but your overall outcome, we do have the three of swords. Okay. So sometimes, um, you know, all of your reading is so incredibly positive. Okay. The three of swords can certainly be, um, a bit of a double edged sword, right? It can be something where, you know that you need to do something new or you've got opportunities opening up for you, okay? But there's a little bit of underlying sadness. So sometimes, um, sometimes when we are onwards and upwards, when we try new things, there's something that we need to let go, an old way of doing things, an old way of thinking, um, or even old situations, right? So, you know, that Three of Swords is a temporary energy of, a little bit of disappointment or sadness, or again, there's some exciting things going on, but maybe you do have to leave something behind. Okay. Or even getting out of your comfort zone, huh? Sometimes can trigger that three of swords because, you know, there might be like a little bit of, um, how should we say, uh, it's not really the right card for it, but like a little bit of, um, doubt, Okay, that, you know, okay, yeah, I need to, I'm making some changes. Okay, or I'm trying new things. I'm getting out of my comfort zone, but it's like, oh, I still have this doubt niggling away at me. Okay, and it, again, it's not quite the right card for the, for the doubt to come in, but that's kind of the energy that I'm getting there. But the Three of Swords is also the opportunity to heal, to grow, to move forward. Okay, so there may be something that is uh, challenging for you or something that you're working through, especially if you're finding more balance in your life in some way. Perhaps there's a difficult conversation that you need to have with somebody, okay, or perhaps it's just um, uh, difficult for you to um, maybe shed some responsibility, okay, or sometimes it's it's hard to make the choice to like let something go by the wayside a little bit. You're probably used to doing a whole bunch of things here, Capricorn. You're very capable. You're very stubborn sometimes, okay. You're very determined, okay, and sometimes if you, when you are in that mindset of, you know, having good sense of control, being determined to do things, you're kind of in that kind of little bit of, um, stubborn energy, like, no, I don't need to put anything off till next week. I can do it now. Sometimes that may cause you a little bit of grief when you do finally sit there and go, nope, you know what? I need to start doing things differently. I need to start doing things in a different way. And that can cause you that little bit of grief, right? It's like, oh, I know I still have to do this this week and I'm willing to put in, I'm willing to work 12 hours in my work day today. And I know I can wait till tomorrow, but, oh, but it might be beneficial for you to kind of let something go. Um, in that way. But the Three of Swords is also bringing in the opportunity to heal from something, okay? So I think here you're making some progress, uh, and I think you are got uh, so many positive things on the go that I think here that you're very optimistic that you will find your better way, you will find your right path, or that you will overcome any challenges that you've been dealing with, and that things are looking better and brighter for you, right? Especially that sun, can, that sun cancels out that Three of Swords, okay? And actually, 
actually the sun shining at the bottom of your deck is your only major arcana. So I think you're just working through some finer details this week, but your sense of optimism and joy and overcoming uh, any kind of issues or resolving situations far outweighs um, you know, anything that is challenging or struggling or you're struggling with. So I think you're going to find a way forward and figure out how to heal from something or do something in a better way. So let's leave that there. We're going to pull out one last card for you here and see what this is. Uh, I can't help but notice that the three of swords, we have two threes out here for you. We've got the three there and two threes there. So um, creation, growth, things blossoming in your life, great time to start new things, okay, or to make those improvements, just like that ace of wands there. Um, and the sun brings about that uh, creative kind of energy there as well. So look up the deeper meaning of 333. Three, three. And we have the unicorn, beautiful. Indulge your creative, imaginative, imaginative and magical side through some form of artistic expression. Okay, whatever that looks like for you, this is time to create, to blossom, to grow, to be inspired, to embrace your inner magic and to be uniquely you. All right, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope that you have a fantastic week and I will see you guys later.